guys it's sunflower sims and welcome to my channel today we are building a large family home i imagined it's for like a blended family um either a family that fosters a lot of kids or adopts a lot of kids so this house has room for f two parents and five kids um five children um i have it set for a teenage girl two child children two male children um one girl child and one toddler um, female, um, one toddler girl, and so there's a lot of kids in this house. Um, I did create a family, um, that goes in this house, um, that will, the, the, the family and this house will hopefully be in what will eventually become a safe file, so I will make sure to upload the family to my gallery as well as the house. Um, you can easily play this house for your own family if you wish um also like always the children's bedrooms can always be switched out to be for other genders or ages um pretty easy especially in this one there's just a lot of beds um and if you can hear that miss lorelei my cat is trying to say hello so um hopefully you don't mind um anyway she she's named after gilmore girls by the way if any of you have seen gilmore girls lorelei gilmore that's who she's named after um so here we are moving on the to the interior of the house just trying to do the floor plan i wasn't quite sure at first how i wanted it to work out but i end up really liking it and i had a really hard time with these stairs i couldn't excuse me excuse me i'm yawning um i couldn't quite get the stairs at first the way i wanted to but i eventually worked it out all the bedrooms are upstairs. I do end up extending the house here, as you can see, to make room for all of the bedrooms. And, yeah. So, let's see. I When I went through and created this family, I did give them family photos that I put. Um, a few in the master bedroom and a few in the living room. Um, they... <laughs> Oh my goodness, I have to tell you, it was a pain in the butt to get these photos. Um, I was having so many glitches with, like, my, like, not glitches, I guess. Um, just, like, everything went wrong. Like, my sims burned to death, like, from the sun, and, like, it was just, it was just a rough time. Um, also, I'm not sure why, but when I went into my game later, it had set the first floor walls to a short height instead of medium which is kind of odd i'm not exactly sure why that is um so you can go ahead and fix that if that happens to you pretty easy make sure you place this house though with move objects on bb dot move objects on because if you don't you're not gonna have a kitchen sink and some other stuff because i did use some bb dot move objects on cheats to place things um anyway i'm using these uh live edit object plants they're free they're bigger they're prettier i liked them a lot so i used a lot of those out in the front yard and i put on this little back porch there's not a whole lot of landscaping in the backyard but what i'm really excited about is there is a tree a tree fort i don't want to say it's a tree house because it's not there's not like a roof or anything but it's a little fort which is pretty cool i thought it was really fun to do and I just put a couple of toys up there. So here we are just working on the exterior, doing siding, putting up columns on the edges of this house. Um, and yeah, so let's see. I am really curious what this new game pack is going to be. I know it's still waiting to be released as of when I'm filming this. I'm filming this on August 19th, which is a Tuesday. I'm sorry, which is a Wednesday. Um, and so you're going to be seeing this on Monday august 24th so maybe by the time you're viewing this they've announced the upcoming game pack but they haven't as of when i'm filming this and editing this they haven't and i'm very curious to see what it is um i do think that it would be totally in the realm of possibilities for it to be a star wars pack that's not particularly what i would vote for but you know it's all good if that's what they give us it's what they give us i may or may not buy it um probably not but we'll see um, and in here I was debating about the floor color. I didn't know if I wanted to go with this really light wood or a darker wood. And I do end up going with the darker wood to match the stairs. I end up using this brick fireplace and I use the nine key, control nine key to move up a, um, a TV to go on the, fi on the fireplace there. Um, I just went for kind of a gray, um, and w w gray light, um, 
color scheme in here. Um, several plants. I do put some toys over in the corner. I end up putting a lot of toys actually. I figured that if they have five kids of different ages, they would probably have a lot of toys running around, hanging around. So I just put lots of clutter in here. I end up putting a bunch of books on the table. I think I put like a pen. Uh, I don't remember what all I put on there. I put some more toys, um, but I put a lot of books. So I imagine that maybe this family has some book readers in the household. Um, <laughs> lots of bookworms, maybe. Um, but yeah, just, I just wanted to clutter this house up, make it feel really homey and lived in, um, especially considering they had five kids. I ended up really loving this house. I ended up building this entire house in an hour and 40 minutes, something like that, which is like a record for me. Like it would take me that long to build like a tiny little cabin house, let alone without that much detail like this house i don't know why but it just flew by i was feeling super inspired um i got some inspiration from um a youtuber i watch who actually she has adopted a lot of kids um angela braniff um fun fact i think it would be really cool to adopt kids one day and so i've watched some of her adoption videos and so um this house was kind of inspired by her and her house and her family um lots of kids big house so yeah anyway um moving on this is going to be a playroom i wasn't sure what to put in here so i just made it a playroom and i think it works out really well um this way it's between the kitchen and the living room so it um if this was like real life the parents could easily watch the kids while they're cooking or you know sit in the living room watch tv and still be able to hear them and pay attention to them in the playroom just feeling um, working on to the kitchen now, I went for a light color scheme in here as well. This whole house is just pretty light colors. Um, I really liked these light wood cabinets. I thought that they were really pretty with the white countertops and the blue backsplash. I do go ahead and put in a small dining area too. Um, one thing is that room that you see off to the side is supposed to be a bathroom. I forgot to do it, but I went back and did it later, so it will be done when you see the floor plan. Um, and up on the gallery there is a bathroom there I ended up just copying it from the master bathroom upstairs I was a little bit lazy at that but I think it's okay it's a nice bathroom it works so um, just like I said cluttering this kitchen up I wanted to put a lot of stuff in here um, make it feel very lived in I put in a popcorn maker I feel like when you have that many kids you just need to like have popcorn and fruit snacks on hand um, and then I tried to place this bread thing but it and I ended up taking it out just because like it didn't I don't know I didn't think it worked very well and then like I don't know it was just being goofy so I ended up taking it out unfortunately um later off camera and then I was just debating if I should put a dining table in the kitchen I end up putting in a small one and then they have the formal dining room again I figure if you have this many kids you're gonna need a lot of seating um especially when you have family come over and like parties and stuff like that so um I do put in a painting above the table which I think is really cool I want to say it's from city living i believe and it's kind of like a um watercolor impressionalism painting of um a family and i just figured that that could kind of look like um their family or at least most of their family um i thought that that would be cool to imagine that like they had it like commissioned for their household or whatever lots of plants around this house just cluttering them up and yeah we're almost done with the first floor now just going in and adding some curtains and other places and then we move on upstairs oh nope we're putting in the kitchen table first but then when we move upstairs um you'll see the bedrooms the kids bedrooms are kind of small um <laughs> there's um not a ton of space for the kids so, which is why i really liked the playroom downstairs um because there's pretty much just room for their beds so i think we are working on the master bedroom first. Even the master's kind of small, but I think it works out. They still had room for the bed, the dresser, and a vanity. So I I believe I put a vanity in. I'm pretty sure. No, I didn't actually. Yeah, so I didn't put a vanity in their room. Um, but I did put one in the teen girl's room. You'll notice I left the wall above the bed blank. Um, I end up putting in some family pictures later. Again, if you want to play with your own family, really easy to take out those family photos. No big deal. Moving on to the teen's room, I imagine this for a teen girl, I imagine she was very into photography. Um, she actually helped take some of the family photos, um, which was nice. And I used those debug um, underwater paintings from um, 
island living. I imagine that that was like maybe a vacation when they went to Sulani or something. Moving on to the boys' bedroom, as you'll, as I said, their rooms are pretty small. You'll see there's just like enough room to walk around for a dresser and stuff, which is why the playroom is really good. I'm just putting up some posters around the bedroom just um giving them some sort of decoration and then i'm moving on to the girls room so in here um there's room for a teen and a toddler um the to and again same thing as the boys room just a little bit of room to walk around and yeah so that is about it for this house i do the bathrooms really quick i don't include the bathrooms in the screenshots i do put a desk and a computer in um right there just that way there's a computer in the house because it's annoying how many things you need a computer for in the sims um and yeah I'm, i apologize i say um a lot i'm highly aware that i say um in like every video about a thousand and five times um i there we go again i'm trying to find or i'm trying to pay more attention to it and maybe not say it so much but it's a work in progress still getting used to voiceovers still a little shy like if my family like walks out of like a bedroom upstairs and i'm doing this i i get a little nervous i'm like oh i'm talking on to myself trying to film this video my family's listening so i'm still getting used to that anyway we are going to be moving on to the backyard very soon and you'll see that i do the tree house i do believe i use a debug tree because it just happened to work better in terms of the shape and the size it just happened to work better for the tree fort and there's a swing set in the backyard but there's not a whole lot i wanted to just leave it fairly empty so that way there's lots of room for kids to run around and play um and explore so yeah i think that i am going to wrap up the voiceover portion here because we're almost done and we'll be moving on to the screenshots pretty soon within like two and a half minutes probably something like that so make sure to like and subscribe um to my channel make sure to hit the bell if you want notifications when i upload i'm currently uploading on mondays and fridays and yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!